but oh hello. Okay. Uh hell we just start right here, didn't we? Hello everybody, Anarchy Technology, Ocean Scheduling Creations, and today we're back in the Pull you workshop. Or today we're playing Lab Rat Part 1 by Lunazaki. In our case, where there's another map missing from my queue ever since I first wrote down my list, so there's a missing map somewhere in the gap, so instead we're playing this next. So like a glass on that screen there, not feeling the whole screen, looking somewhat different. I think it's a glow in the eye. Right. What's happening here is an X button over there. I think I hear two noises in the background. Two big noises. What's going on in there? It's like a modified from Petty Map. It kind of feels like it. It's just random wire. Okay. Send. Oh, I needed the cube with me. Whoops. I'm too distracted by what's going on in this map. So, do that. Cube with me. Can you open that panel down there? Can you power one thing and let me press this button? My bridge thing here, too. Uh, okay, it's a bit random. Right. What happens in here then? <laughs> this random glass on the monitor not saying anything. But look. An Act 4 explosion. It definitely feels like it was modified from a petty map. Except they actually put a little bit more effort into making it almost feel like it wasn't. And so that's definitely the vibe I'm getting here. So, right. Oh wow. That is loud. I think that this is definitely edited from a petty from a petty editor map. Hmm. I guess uh <coughs> what does that do? <coughs> this thing over there, it's something over here, dude. Swip swip switch some panels. Put that there. That hasn't changed. That hasn't changed. You're not sure what that's about. It's face plate across here. I was gonna have the face plate to take us right through the. Oh, hello. Ouch. I didn't even see the face plate. I was about to say, you're no match for my cube. But I was no match for the face plate. Get out of here. But it gives me a funnel. Uh, the panel is still closed. It's open with this button. Looks like. Okay, what is. There's so many ant lines, I already keep track of what's going on here. That's the petty editor curse right there. Is there anything else over here? Doesn't it seem like it? Okay, so. I did, uh, do I just go up then? Do I just go up? Okay, what is over there? Is that. I think that's just a window where I came from, I think. Okay, it's a... I see a seam right here. What is happening? Oh, I... oh, it's a crack in the wall, and I can see the, the things in the arms in the distance, so okay. I thought it was a texture error for a second. Oh, your paradoxes. Okay, some odd texturing in this corridor. And we're back into the petty editor stuff. Is there an ours? Is there another silent glass monitor around here? I probably should have shut my portals right there. <coughs> Is that a... I think that's just a void. It looks similar to a portal cypher smear. Out of context gaming freezes. Out of context gaming freezes. Like, I can just jump this gap. 120, 128 units. No, I just powered something over there. I heard... I tried to power something, probably got powered off actually. Whatever those kind of like, but sure, I'll touch it as you go, see what happens now. So, it's all very random. Isn't there a laser here I can grab? Okay. So far, it just seems like, so far, this just seems like a whole bunch of disconnected nonsense. Go. Why then? <clears throat> Why did I do that? Was there a reason to do that? Center of the world. Uh. Okay, 
so I can do a bit of this. Uh, Opens the door. Could I even use those panels for anything? Because I thought that was the corner observation room. It's not. I'm just I'm disappointed. Corner observation rooms are neat. They don't happen very often. I think I at least tried one once, but. That's, that's something just, I think it's just Foley, it's not actually things breaking. I think it's just, just a bunch of Foley. Alright, why is there a weird crack in the wall right here? It doesn't seem natural. <laughs> it's a rat man art. Going in an important direction, yeah sure. Uh -oh. oh, you almost like cooler by goo because you fell down. So, right. I don't want to set up a runway. I went farther than I thought it would. This random MP2 going through this chamber. Not very professional test chamber construction, and also it serves no purpose. There's nothing going through it, so it serves. It doesn't do very much for the sake of visuals. Oh, I see. Okay, can I get more, a bit more gel out here? There's a chance I might die here, so let's save. Let's go for it. You. You're right. Oh, no, that was very loud but fancy. Okay, set up a path for us to get back. It's neat. So, just open this, okay. Is there a real portal right here? Or is that just a weird level construction? Is that? I thought it was Death Touch for a second. It's just more of the arms in the void. This feels very abstract. Like, I have no idea what's going on. It feels like the mapping verse is falling apart. Okay, suddenly old aperture. But it's still watching us, so. Suddenly old aperture. It's still inside the modern aperture. Okay, elevation, okay. So you throw it down there and more loud explosions. What is happening even? <coughs> you just buttons are opening the exit. It seems like it. Is there. There's a pole surface beneath me. Look at all those arms right there, just taking up the only count with this map. Uh, floating test chambers are not on their proper rails. They're just floating. It's like I would know. I, I literally just, I, I literally just, I literally just analyzed these for a, a map I'm working on. But I got that map got delayed by the whole G-Man won't leave me alone video. I don't know if it'll be done by now, but. Done by the time this video goes up, like I've been working hard on the demo for that mod. Well, you guys, can, it's available to you guys yet? Well, you don't know by then. A nice cut off catwalk. Is that? Did you frame the new aperture catwalk around the old aperture catwalk tower? You also didn't cap it correctly down there. So you're there next to my crosshair. You didn't cap off the handrails correctly. Sloppy, sloppy. It's like you're just trying to assemble things in a way you found it was cool. That's a very solid plant. So that's the actual inner store right there. Can't go through it. Can okay, I just jump across? No, it's... Oh, well, maybe. What do you do? <clears throat> okay, that, that sure has a point. Let's get you up there. Okay. Just curious. Can I leap this gap? If I do my patented stepping stone trick? Oh, it's a thing beneath me. I can't also, I can't jump over that. Nice. Yeah. Is this, this is not physics, it can't be. There's a button down there. You could look at that possibly do. First let me just try pressing these two buttons. No, I guess there's a gap here too. What is it you and weird gaps? Wait. Oh, there must be no draw here. Or portal water. I can't sh I can't actually shoot through that. Okay. Let's put this one here. Since the mirror cube is more important. The bacon is important now. Okay. Alright. <laughs> I don't think I can jump over with anymore with the cube, so gotta fling this time. No we that time. It's not as whimsical because it just seems like oddly cool and clinical. Okay, I can, can, 
be a poor surface. What kind of you? Well, I could have sworn there was a surface on the left side here. Did I hallucinate that? Oh. By, by panel arm, I just fell. Yeah, okay, well, I wasn't watching where I was going. Looks like quite half to go. Looks like I have to go the other way, though. This is so weird. What was it called again? Lab rat. Pshh, pshh. Oh, okay. Right, interesting. I'll just go to the second map then. It's right up next to the queue. <coughs> okay, pick up where we left off. Just at least continuity. This shouldn't be in the door. What the heck? What the heck was that? As I was saying, this shouldn't be in the door frame like this. How is the door closed with that in the way? <clears throat> it is like one of those first hammer map dealios. Got more floating test chambers. I was magically floating. Maybe they, maybe they set the rails to the wrong uh, entity type and didn't realize. Those looks modern down here. I'm gonna walk around to a place where I can fling out of that. Let's navigate through these ceiling tiles. Yeah, here we go. No, no, we actually made these solid. This is a damn squib. Hero is excited. I could maybe preempt something. No use. Oh! How the hell did I save that? Okay, right. So by the music, I presume it's by the music in the background, I presume it's supposed to be, it's supposed to be the really aesthetic. Also, your door is on backwards. Alright, so... No, that tube is inconveniently blocking the laser and the gel. How peculiar. No, some of it's getting through, at least. No, I just go up here. <coughs> it's all very well. An excuse to use the crouch. This is all very weird. Okay, I can do a fling. Whee! Boink. Oh, that's awkward. So, I think that is the map always saved me there. It wasn't paying attention. I couldn't read what the screen said there. <coughs> right, uh, okay, we, we just, I suppose we just do that again. We just use the non trippy surface this time. Yes. Let's jump on the corner. So we're fling out of here. Oh. Okay, also I just, I just clipped straight, straight through a square beam. Can I just do this? Oop. No, just barely. Okay. That's a respawn button, gotcha. <clears throat> it's very sad, dripping out of this. So I just, do I just jump down there where you can get out? What? Oh, this, you see the bottom of the void. There's a floor down there. Okay. Right. So 8624. That's where the cubes are all clipped. A death plane down there for the cubes. Right. So does that open the exit? Point the other way. There we go, that, that opened my exit. And we Noises! And I slide right through the door. This is all, this is all kinds of weird. Like, especially like the skirt of the ch test chamber, it looks almost so weird. What is going on there? What is that even? It's like a box of graham crackers or something. What does that even mean? I have no idea. Okay. Bit of a momentum me action. <clears throat> Big deal. That turned off some of you guys saving text. Yeah. I thought I just heard a, a cube being catapulted. Whee! Oh. No, I did hear a cube being catapulted. catapulted. This goes over there. So, oh, more seams in your world. What is going on with you? Are you just, are you just bad at staying on grid? 
Or is there actually a no drop bar just clipping through here? There's a floor I can go to here. Safe to jump down. And uh I guess I just do this again. I missed a face with that time, but it's fine. Clip. The music fades out. So what? Oh, okay. I've been locked out in this, this balcony, high balcony. We're falling into old aperture again. Those people who can like slide along walls, like air strafing, they probably do real fun with that surface right there. That oh, was close. <clears throat> oh, nice invisible wall, dude. Or do that, whichever you prefer. Lack of dude, I can portal through there. Nice invisible wall, is it? Okay, it's all around us. All I can do is just go into the chamber, alright. Yeah, wait, the music in old aperture, alright. Is this the one on you, the chamber, the one chamber in Portal Story as well that you skip over to get to Virgil? Gives me similar vibes. What? Okay. I think I see what I need to do here. Oh, that's not that's an auto respawn. Well But what? Well that has a load of cheese and crackers. I thought I got it with a delay that the dropper has, but no. It just misses. There we go, much better. Alright then. That was a little failure right there. Just keep moving. <clears throat> I see the elevator back there. I see it's thorax. So, what are we doing here? Is this a start gel? Alright, you get to do some more jumping. That's exciting. Alright, give me the gel back. I need more gel. As high as it goes. Okay, let's fetch some more towards the top. Get a bit more. Oh, so that is a real watery noise. Yeah, that's a very watery sounding gel. I just want to pour it out of the way. It doesn't get used very often. Oh, now it reminds me of the network chamber for Portal Stories now. The one with the funnel over Gyo. You can shoot through the hole in the wall for a shortcut. Also, <laughs> nice fizzler texture alignment. So you. Oh, it's cube over there. Okay. You. What did that do? Uh, is a pair with this button to open the exit door? <coughs> uh, I could, I could do some more of this. Is that enough momentum? It is nice. <coughs> There we go, it has a combined thing. Yeah, a severe lack of signage indicators right there, but okay. It's understandable enough for the end of that one. Okay. Alright, I like the thumbnail. The thumbnail looks kind of nice. Here's on to part three then. Read description. I'll read it in a bit. No, we're still in an aperture. This one's gonna be a start of one of Ultimate Man's maps. I don't remember if that one's public anymore. I think it's one of the pure intellect maps. Except it's like it's not quite the same. Wait. Okay. Is that proper physics? Oh, that's probably proper physics. I don't know what's going on, on this side. There's a ledge below us too. Right. Okay. Any broke in such a way we can cleanly get to this catwalk down here. Bravo Volta, is Bravo Volta open? No, it is not. 
The door's also clipping into the catwalk slightly. It's gotta be one of those, those first hammer map things. I should read the description part. Description descriptions for all three parts. Let's see what's going on. Also, that has a very thin pool surface. It's also chopped a little bit. The spider's hammer didn't count as an invalid brush and deleted automatically. Control room for transition to seal to oh, more seals. Nice. I should just start calling them Shom and start buying dark candies off of them. Right. Hey, Cave, how's it going? Need a drink of water? It's a very dank office. Got a hatch override. It goes through the console. Nice. That was another one. They both go the wrong direction and clip through the consoles. Very loud. Where's. Oh, it's above us. Why do I feel like it's gonna fall on us? Are they gonna fall on us? I'm clip through that frame, apparently. Is that. That's not horrible. <coughs> no, you actually cut off the loud alarms. That actually makes you slightly better than me, because I never did that. I always blast people's ears out. You came to point over me. Congratulations. Alright, can I portal into there? Is there a lift I can use? Is there a point to opening that? This way is that? Oh, that's portable. I thought it was a light fixture. Okay. Alright. I get to that. that. Yeah, it does look weird just seeing the pool surface through this catwalk. Actually, what is casting this light even? There's nothing casting this light. The surface itself cannot be luminescent, it's not a thing. Got a big old grid of lights right here. It's jacking out the power bill. I mean, never mind all the thousands of tiny lights from the arms, never mind that. We can operate as few as 1.1 volts. The turrets down there, you can't see. That's the fact of turrets on the claws. It, it, it's, this whole thing just looks like we're exploring the. It's supposed to be an explorable void. <clears throat> Everything over on this side. See the test. The test cylinder out there. That surrounds the final boss chamber in the Air Force 2 campaign. Is that door just sitting against the wall? It's a very nice module we escaped from right there. It's sticking out like a sore thumb. Is that. I think a door. I think a door is definitely just sticking out of the wall. Right there is on the wall, not in it. Very nice. And I guess we'll move towards defective turrets. Oh, hey, you learned how to use the rails finally. They're here. Is there a except a vertical? Peculiar. Shoo! Go. Dominoes. Oh. I can't pick you up even. What is this? The end of SP Aperture? The old version. Fine then. I was leaving me. Oh, that's functional. Enjoying this test myself. It's a little bit difficult. Now, oh, finally, some narration. Wheatley's here. It's probably speaking with ambient generic since there was no caption. This. Oh. Oh, flipping panel. I thought that was something else for a second. I thought it was like 90 degree panel. What? Okay, there, there is something inv invisible right here. Not sure what though. It only affects the cube. So there's a clip. Hello. Dunk. Right. So, our nice lasers are in the wall. Laser nodes. You didn't cut any holes for them. Cool, cool. I love clipping lasers. So you turn off the fizzler. I'm getting flashbacks to that one map. Uh, what? Oh, 
Okay. Sort of a timer. That. That open an exit up there. Oh, that's tremendous. It's not quite tremendous yet, Wheatley. We haven't actually solved the puzzle yet. So it's very, it's very un Wheatley like to not have a monitor with his face on it, glaring at me. Okay. We'll just do this. Whoop, gotta walk back a long way myself. Wait a minute. Oh, what is up with your fizzler frame alignment? What the heck? Who is Art Deco? Nice. Ah. Okay, I kind of. Okay, I need the mirror cube again for a second. Press that. I'll just stay now? Okay. Alright. Cool. That works for me. Alright. Now we can leave then. Is there more? Is that the end? There we go. I wanted to talk to you for a moment, if I may. Where are you? I'll be honest, the death traps have been a bit of a failure so far Any for both of us. I think you'll agree. And you are getting very close to my lair. Am I? Am I really? Lair. It's weird in that first time I've said it out loud. It sounds a bit, it sounds a bit ridiculous, really. But uh, I can assure you, it is one. It is a proper lair. Deadly lair. Sounds crazy, I know, but hear me out, hear me out. Once you get to my lair, death will not be optional, all right? It will be mandatory. No tricks, no surprises. Just you dying as a result of me killing you in a very, very gruesome way. Yeah, sure thing, really. I totally believe you can do that. It's weird having Wheatley mowing along without Invisible Wheatley. I just want to uh, Interesting. Oh, I see. I need the light bridge to delay the queue. Okay. Right. Adjust my sitting position here. Get more comfortable. Ow. I don't mind that. Eh. Right, there's a fizzler right there, you dummy. There's a fizzler. Don't be stupid. Oh, wait, no. That's not... Whoops. That's not correct. Do I have enough time to pull this off? Yep, yeah, yeah, shit, shit. Oh, shit. What if I press the button first? Shoot. Dang it, I didn't shoot the pools in time. Let me give that back. Okay, redo. Redo. Alright. And I press the button first. Press the button first. Ah, shoot. Dang it. Ah. Mashing these as fast as I can. They move a little faster than that. I hope you just place it further on. But excuse you. Excuse you. Can you just cooperate, please? So close. Right? I can nudge you away. What? No, nudge you away. Can I just. Oh, okay. Alright, I can just fix it from here. Hello, turret unit. Oh, dark lighting. Ominous. Okay, you have these rails going vertical. You're also missing the actual brace that's supposed to be in the middle. It's not, it's still not quite right. Oh, and more seams in the environment. You're on fire with these. Okay. Explosion imminent. Evacuate the facility immediately. <laughs> I 
I'm so used to hearing a sound bite because I have set as my, like, one of my PC system sounds. It's a warning noise, so I hear it every time I complete a compile with Hammer o with Half Life 2 open. Alright. So we're going to ride the Funnel of Doom to the lair. Is that the lair? I think it is. It's got the homeless model. No more floating chambers now. We've forgotten the rails. We're stacked in the void. Floating. Advanced technology. Enter a dropper. If you're gonna drop. Uh, I think it's copy pasted from Pool 2. It's the weird dropper. It's created off, so it only takes the bomb. Except you mess up the alignment of the texture. It's not quite right anymore. So, right, are you gonna fight Wheatley or is this the map is gonna end? That's, that's where we need to read the description. Oh, you can see the size of these models you're not supposed to see. Nice. You get that in full bright? Yeah. Very nice. What are the Wizzlies like? Uh, is that the end? That's the end. Okay. Well, let's read the description then to cap it all off. Right here, description for part one. Let's see here. Lab rat. Oh, okay. Just text banner. Okay. Now, what about part two? Let's see here. Check the change log for details. The map has changed so much. Let's see. How much has it changed? Let's see here. That's a lot of updates on January 28th, 29th, 2017. That's before Breath of the Wild came out. So many updates let's see. Added broken ceiling to chamber one, changed the layout in chamber three, added the sphere in the old testing place, added more detail in chambers one, two, and three, added hint textures to improve FPS. When the door is in when the door in test chamber one closes and you fall down into the old tests, everything in test chamber one is removed to increase FPS, oh really. He has lobbed all that off mid-map. <laughs> added in a soundtrack, added in a falling room where the door opens. And adding added falling blocks for when the falling room impacts. Yeah, okay. And added a new detail, added a new test chamber, fixed the cube maps. I don't know what happened to the cube maps to make them not work, but it's working now. Yeah, okay. Now about part three then? What does part three say? What was so important to read in part three? It's, it's took a couple months to create. This map is huge, so if you've got a slow computer, don't run this map. Yeah, I, I noticed. I noticed that. Yeah, too important. This project will be discontinued until further notice. It might come back, but for now, it's no longer being worked on. Edit important. Thanks for all the advice that experts have given me. I should, I should the next map less breaking than this one. In all fairness, the experts gave me really good points and advice on what I should do to improve the performance as well as improve, improve the dealing and light, detailing and lighting. <laughs> However, I don't know how to plan the boss fight with him in Lab Rat Part Fourth finale. I'm thinking of a new way of defeating him. Does it involve bombs and tubes and faith plates? Part, how about part 4 of the finale? It's not been started yet because I'm thinking of the boss fight and how to get to his room and all of that. They, what, what experts are there? Hmm. Shadow Kira. Is that like Shadow Cat Kira from YouTube? It's some Equestria Girls covers. No, Sky Ferret is here. So Sky Ferret and, oh, and Kylo X, yeah, that's another from, 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 memorable name. Let me see what they're saying here. I will say this, the map was a bit horrible, due to the fact how, how much details is overlooked and not done. I, it just felt like you wanted to put more stuff over the place, yeah, I get that. But I didn't bother to make it look good. I couldn't find a good side in this map due to how many problems it has. On every corner there was, was something to bug me, either holes in the wall or badly placed, not aligned textures, performance issues, lighting, and even the puzzles. This map is huge, so if that's because the map is not optimized, I'm afraid a lot more bigger maps without any performance issues. The problem probably is that everything is rendering in the map, which it shouldn't. The only things that you should see, you can see, should, should render. I don't know if I'm fixing this map, I don't know if I'm fixing this map, I Sky Ferret. I too found the lighting could be improved. Also, it's the thicker fog. It looks like you forgot global and stuff VMF. This will make the, this will make distant object look better as they fade in the fog. It also appears you have somewhat of a visibly nightmare going on, which means that the compile window probably stalled a bit on portal flow. One thing that will help optimize is when you paint the inside of the big box with say tools black no portal. It set the light map grid on a texture to a gigantic, gigantic 512 instead of the default 16. Interesting. Then, so two member women names tried to help them. 
So, and there was no, is there, was there a part four? No, it's organic test and organic test two. Now I'm curious, I think let's look at the workshop, see what it says like. I'm not gonna subscribe to these. These look, these look nicer. I like the color grading here as well. It's very amber hued, very evening y. Okay, how about part two? Yeah, this it's, it's also looks nicer. You, they're, you, they're at the very least improved a bit since whatever this was I just played. Yeah, it looks nicer. I'm not going to sub to them, but still. You go five to four days. Like on part one. This one took three, three, th three, three over two days to make this one, this one test. Three over two. Is it three and a half? Three to three to two? Because I want to see what I can do. When I finish this set, let's upload it. Why not? No, it looks nice. I'll give you that. I'm not going to play it though. Alright then. I guess I'll cut it off right there. Next time. Are we at the end? We're not. Why not next time? Till then, my name is Akers Agalos. I'm Sketching Creations, and I will see you then. Thanks for watching.